If I was to tell you that Jack Wallside is the best striker in Inazuma 11-1, you might think I've lost my mind. Jack is obviously an earth defender. He is the furthest thing away from what you would expect to be a good striker. But yet somehow in the Japanese version of Inazuma 11-1, he is the main man. He is the player you want to be using up front. Well, that's what I'm here to explain. In the Japanese version of Inazuma 11 1, players can have one of six stat spreads. When I say stat spread, this is what I mean. Rather than every player have unique numbers in all of their stats, like in the future games, in the Japanese version of Inazuma 11 1, there were only six to choose from. This ranges from players like Willie Glass having really bad stats, to players like Nathan Swift having more in their speed than anything else, and to players like Axel Blaze and Jude Sharp who just have really good stats across the board. And then you've got the stat spread that players like Jack Wallside, Kevin Dragonfly, and Paul Peabody have. So in Jack Wallside's case, he has 300 in his FP, 225 in his TP, 99 in his kick, 99 in his body, 69 in control, 79 in guard, 69 in speed, 99 in stamina, 79 in guts, and 34 in freedom. So immediately, for some reason, Jack Wallside has been given the stat spread that gives him the highest kick in the game. But then, to get the most out of him, you've got to give him the Hizatsu, the Galaxy. This is a shot in Inazuma 11-1, which can be obtained via Wi-Fi download. It is the strongest shot in the game. So as you can imagine, giving the strongest shot in the game to a player with a kick stat of 99 basically means they are unstoppable. But what makes Jack Wallside in particular so good? Well, there are a couple reasons. The first is that he naturally learns Mega Quake. And as an Inazuma 11 1, you can only give players two custom moves. Then that means you can give him both the Galaxy and Boost Glider, the best dribble in the game. So this means that a Jack Wall side up front can have the Galaxy, the best shot in the game, Boost Glider, the best dribble in the game, and Mega Quake, one of the strongest block moves in the game, making him the complete package. And then on top of this, he is one of the few players who can be partners with Mark when he uses triple defense, which is the best goalkeeper option in the game. This makes him even more valuable of a player as it opens up another slot on your team for a player who doesn't have to partner with Mark. In the Japanese version of Inazuma 11-1's meta, the best thing to do is put a striker up front with 99 kick, give them Boost Glider and the Galaxy. And Jack Wallside is without a doubt the best player to do this for. This isn't the same in the European version of the game, where although gameplay remains the same, everyone has their own stats. And scouts and special moves from Inazuma 11-2 can be traded over to Inazuma 11-1. This makes the list of really good special moves much bigger. For instance, goalkeepers don't just have to be marked with triple defense, it can also be other keepers with Beast Fang and Infinite Wall. Defenders can have Mad Express, Hurricane Arrows, Sigma Zone, and Bamboo Pattern. In terms of dribble moves, you can use Heaven's Time, Jewel Pass, and Triple Dash. And then Strikers aren't just limited to the Galaxy, they can also use Neo Galaxy, Crossfire, Dark Phoenix, and Reflect Buster. Inazuma 11's one meta, no matter the version, is pretty bare bones. But I do find it hilarious that in the Japanese version of the game, it's a defender who makes for the best striker. Jack Wallside truly is the king. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that classic YouTube stuff. And thank you so much to Zikri AK for providing the information for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.